Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be talking through a subject that has been pretty highly requested over on my Instagram. Like I get a lot of DMs asking for me to discuss this kind of issue. And also I was at the gym last night and I actually saw someone struggling and it just kind of like it really upset me like because I felt so sympathetic and guilty that I couldn't help. I was dying to ask if she needed any help, but also that can come across as kind of intimidating and not actually help many people because they'll just be like, no, and then you feel kind of bad about asking. So yeah, if you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, I'm going to be trying to cover some tips on getting over gym intimidation and being afraid of the weight section or anything like that. So the first thing that I want to discuss is it is always going to be so helpful to have a plan before you go into the gym. So if you're new to the gym and you're not 100% sure on what routine you want to carry out with that day, um, first it would be a good idea to choose what muscle group you're wanting to target. If one way to do this is there's a lot of apps on the app store that you can download. One that I know about is called Gym Fit and it's just got like a massive list of so many different exercises. There's literally thousands on there, I'm, I'm sure there's thousands. And all you have to do is download the app, it's free and you just, there's like, a, there's some boxes that you just choose from and it basically has like every single muscle group on there and you just click that so say if you wanted to do triceps one day and you don't know many tricep exercises or shoulders back blah 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 so you just choose whatever muscle you want to work on click on that and you get a huge list of all different exercises there's written instructions on there and there's also a video clip that you can watch so that you can get your form right another good um, way to get some plans is to go on bodybuilding.com there's stacks on there literally they have like a whole workout it's free again and um you just choose whichever muscle group you want to work on the same way as you would with an app uh you can print them off you can write rewrite them yourself so if there's something that you don't really want to do you can just take that off and not do it you can turn to youtube and watch like your favorite youtubers what the exercises they're doing what workouts they've done on their videos Another way to kind of take the edge off of your nerves is to go into the gym with a music playlist. So on your phone, get some headphones or some earphones. You want to make sure that the playlist is uh, already made before you go in so that you don't have to keep changing the song while you're trying to work out because that is so annoying. Yeah, so listen to some like happy, uplifting, motivating music and that will take the edge right off of your nerves and put you in a much better mood. Another good thing that I actually sometimes do listen to when I'm working out if I'm not feeling it that day is if you just type in like motivational speeches. There's something called affirmations as well. I like to listen to them if I'm not feeling much, like that great that day. That will literally just guide you through your workout. You just need to get out of your comfort zone. If the weight section is a bit intimidating, honestly, just try. Just go and do it. We all we always tend to make it a lot worse in our heads than it actually is going to be. So you're probably going to think, oh my god, I'm going to drop away. Oh my god, I'm going to be not able to lift anything. You will. I, I promise you, you can do it. you just got to try. You've just got to go with it. And you're never going to know until you have actually tried it. So just do it. I know that is easier said than done. But... If you believe in yourself, then chances are you'll be, able, you'll be able to do it. Another really simple factor in getting over gym intimidation is to literally do the most simplest thing that gets overlooked. Just ask, literally just ask someone, either someone that looks nice around the gym, just like, excuse me, could you help me with this? Do you know how to do this? Do you know where this is? Blah, blah, blah. Or ask a personal trainer that's around at the gym if there is one at the time. Um, you can even book in like an induction or like a guide kind of thing and 
Um, or even just ask the receptionist, chances are they also lift, they probably train in that gym, they know where they're going, they know what they're doing, or they can get another member of staff to help you out. So just ask, and I know that even that can be kind of in, like scary and intimidating just in itself, but it will be worth it in the end. Um, you could always just go to the gym with a friend, someone that's used to the gym maybe, someone that lifts already and is comfortable in and around the environment maybe um, or just someone new just like you and you can go together kind of laugh about not knowing what to do yourself um, because in the, at the end of the day nobody walks into a gym as an expert nobody knows every single thing that they need to do um, we all start from somewhere and a really good quote that I like I literally live by is don't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20 and it is so true and once you start thinking of things like that it kind of like I don't know it really really helps me just to keep thinking of that quote another thing that you can do if you're not comfortable in the gym environment just yet um, is actually look at what kind of gym you are going to because there's so many different types of gyms there's like a little like health and fitness clubs which are more like for family kind of things um, rather than your typical weightlifting gym which is like m massive muscly people throwing the weights around and deadlifting and making so much noise and grunting just to get the reps out that can obviously be a lot more scarier than your typical um, health club where it's like nice music playing at a moderate level <laughs> so that you're not going deaf or just like normal kind of families there I guess so yeah or there's if you are a girl and you're scared of lifting in front of males go to a women's only gym that can obviously be beneficial to some so yeah it is worth looking at what kind of gym you're actually going to I hope that this video has kind of given you some confidence to go into the gym I guess feel free to leave any other tips if you have any in the comments to help other people out to also help me out for when I'm getting ready to leave my gym and move also don't forget to subscribe uh, and don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it as it would help me out a lot just a quick heads up I'm going to be running a little competition over on my Instagram um, I'm not too sure when exactly but I'm working with a brand called Centro Smiles and it is a teeth whitening company and I'm hosting a giveaway in collaboration with them and they are going to be sending two people of my choice a teeth whitening kit so keep your eyes peeled over on my Instagram I will leave the links and everything you need to know below if you are up for winning a teeth whitening kit, keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon.